The Galapagos Islands are home to an amazing array of creatures. Blue-footed boobies, sea lions, penguins, iguanas, and sea turtles. Some species are found nowhere else on Earth. Sometimes the conditions that create such a wealth of life shut down. The culprit here is a phenomenon known as El Nino. Usually, the trade winds blow west across the equatorial Pacific. Warm water piles up in the west, and cool water rises to the surface in the east. In the Galapagos, cold ocean water welling up from deep brings nutrients to the surface that act like fertilizer, and life blooms. But during an El Nino, the trade winds relax, and warm water flows eastward across the equator towards the Galapagos. The islands are bathed in seawater that is higher than normal in temperature. This warm seawater is less dense than the cold ocean water below and acts like a cap that prevents ocean water from welling upward. With the flow of nutrients to the surface cut off, productivity in the Galapagos shuts down, creating a break in the food web. Algae and zooplankton that are the food for so many creatures diminish or disappear, triggering a devastating chain of events. The iguanas can starve and die. Sea lions suffer. Fish populations decline and fewer young are born. For those that do survive, life is difficult. In strong El Ninos, populations of wildlife across the Galapagos decrease. The fight for survival continues until nature finds a way of coming back. El Nino retreats and the trade winds return. And then the bounty of life begins to flourish once more.